Hi there, I'm Kachun Yu from the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, and today we will learn how to use Google Earth to create an image overlay. And before I can start, I need to switch over to my desktop so that you can see what I am seeing. And let me start up Google Earth. And the reason why you might want to do this is you might have a map or you might have a satellite image that you want to plop as a KML or a KMZ onto the surface of the Earth. And you might not have um, any other tools to help you position and to place that image. So I will show you how you can use Google Earth to do that. The image that I will be using is one uh, that was taken from a satellite and it shows the High Park fire outside of Fort Collins. You can see the smoke plumes from that fire. This is the Colorado and Wyoming border. And so this is um, a pretty large fire. Um, there are actually other fire fires as well taking place in the state. So what I will do is I want to place that into Google Earth. And the way I do that is I come up to the top here um, and one of these buttons is Add Over Image Overlay. I click on that and I see a new window um, tool pop up. I want to call this High Park Fire and I want to browse for the image. It's on my desktop and let me scroll down and find it. And once I do, you can see there, um, the image is now in Google Earth and there are a number of green brackets around it. The green um, cross you can use to move um, this image around and then you can also use these corner brackets to resize or to rescale the image. Since it's hard to um, see underneath, um, what I can do is I can come and use the scroll bar to change the opacity all the way from zero to, you know, let's say 50%. And using this combination of tools, you can see that we can basically resize this until the, um, the image is more or less correct. And now I'm not going to be able to do this um, in just a few minutes. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and save this, change the opacity back to 100%. And now I have this high park fi fire layer that I can save out. So I'm going to click on Save Place As. I'll save it out as a KMZ. That's fine. And now I have a KMZ file on my desktop. I can close Google Earth, bring up Uniview, and bring up the user folder. And I want to drag the High Park Fire into the KML objects. And once I do that, when I go back into Uniview Theater, and if I click on the Geoscope window, I will see that KMZ in that directory and I can load it and it's completely mismatched so it's not quite geospatially correct but if I had spent a little bit more time on this I would get this to match up more accurately. So that is how you can create an image overlay using Google Earth for Uniview. Thank you for watching.